And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Todd Teaches DDO. Uh, we're in the middle of the Catacombs quest chain. We are taking on the Dryden family tomb. So we're going to go ahead and enter that on normal. Uh, please check out the previous few episodes with uh, the other quests in the chain that we've already done. Um, so you can see what's going on with this. Um, in this one, we want to find the Dryden family treasure. Now, I'll be completely honest, this quest is so repetitive and boring. Um, I'm going to try to make it go a little bit faster by using some of my turn undeads. But for the most part, um, you're just going to be breaking all of these things and killing the undead as they pop up. Almost every single one of these has an undead inside. So you break it, and they pop up, and every once in a while you'll get to a gate that you can't get through, so you'll have to go into the rooms, and you'll have to um, pull the lever in there. You can try to avoid the undead, um, but I'm actually going to try to get them all. Because if I can get them all in one place, I can try to turn them. Like that. That got a large number of them all in one go. Not bad. Okay. Hit my lever there. Clatter from the hallway. The sapphire gate is open. Okay. And basically, you just rinse and repeat that. Do this however you feel like. Um, I recommend if you're not that good at killing undead that you don't try to um, hit all the things at once like I'm doing. Because you're going to get overwhelmed by undead. But since I'm fairly good at killing undead... I'm gonna kinda just go through it quickly. But like I said, it's not a difficult quest, it's just frustrating, not really worth the time, but it's in the middle of the chain, so you've gotta do it. Now, the basic setup of this quest is a big square that goes around the whole chain, or that goes around the whole level with this big area in the middle which is what we need to get to. But in order to get there, you basically have to clear all the undead out from around the entire thing. You'll come across these doors which you can't get into because they're locked. So you've got to go all the way around. At the end there's a key that lets you unlock those doors. So you got to go all the way around a second time using that key going in there and turning the lever that's in each of those ones and once you've turned all four of those you can finally get into the center area where the crypt of Gerard Dryden is um, you're not going to be able to get the family treasure unless you can pick locks or unlock doors because it's trapped all right, so we ran into another one of these, so we've got to go in here. I still got my Seek Eternal Rest, so let's go ahead and get all these things. Uh, get all these things. Okay, let's get everyone together. Come on, come on, guys, come on. No. All right. So like I said, take it slow if you can't kill the undead. But since I can turn, you hear a clatter from the hallway. The I'll just go ahead and get them all as quick as I can. I said it's pretty much the same thing all the way around boring in terms of 
actual content. But plenty of things to kill if that's the part you enjoy. Um, if you have a party uh, with several people, you can have people kind of split up and take each section and go as quick as you can. Um, otherwise, this quest just drags on and on. Okay. So there's the Dryden family treasure, but it's locked. So I can't get in there. But if you can get it, it's a nice little chest for you. And of course, some more undead you gotta kill to get to it, but you should be good at that by this point. So, breaking these, killing these. Like I said, it's very repetitive. Okay. Notice how some of them break on their own. Just to change things up. Oh look, another lock gate. Well, whatever will we do? Let's throw another Seek Eternal Rest. Oh, this one is the nice one. This one has the shrine. Hear a clatter from the hallway. The topaz gate is so that's raised. a little bit of a rest for you. But then you've got to go ahead and go into the second half of it. I like those one hit kills. I wish I got those more often. Some of these guys are a little stronger than others. The hammering in Gerard's tomb grows louder and louder. It ends with the crack of splitting stone. Well, that's not good. The guy you're supposed to be checking on is just woken up and broken out of his tomb. That puts a whole other twist on seeing your ancestors. Probably not the way that most people would choose to do that. Now these Dryden ancestors, they're the strongest undead you'll find in here. Skeleton archers and the skeleton um, I don't know if they're soldiers or, or knights or something. Or also skeleton warriors, there we go. The regular skeletons are pretty weak. I'll have to find a way to raise it. I wonder what way we'll find. Well, go figure. A plaque up on the floor reads Charas Strike. Okay, come on. Alright, so let's go ahead and those guys. Okay. Archers. Okay. Lever. Hey, some Here silver. From the hallway. The amethyst gate is raised. Amazing. Never would have thought. Okay. We're getting closer, guys. Getting closer. There's the chest that we're going to need that has the, the key to unlock the inner doors. From Gerard's tomb, you hear the sounds of cracking bones, gnawing teeth, and gibbering laughter. Some more stuff. 
Where are these guys? Oh, I'm over here. Not being very effective. Okay. Let's finish killing these guys off. Okay. So, now that we got these guys, um, grab the key from the chest here. Now, if you want to keep going around back to the way we are, because I mean, this is the entrance here, um, you can. The first door is right here, though, so I'm going to go ahead and start here. I'm going to go ahead and use my Seek Eternal Rest again. I'm going to do that one more time in here. Reads, Drag, sword of the light okay, so let's get all these guys together and... Oh no. one okay that's not bad so I'm gonna hit the first lever hear a click from the direction of Gerard's tomb yeah but you still gotta get them all all right now you could go forward and keep going around the same direction but I'm gonna go backwards because I want to go and get the shrine there so that I can get my turn on deads again I'm going to go ahead and do this one the hard way because I don't have any more turn undeads. So that means I want to clear them out the slow way. So again, just try not to get too many at once. You'll get a couple that break open on their own, that's fine. Look, there's a potion on the ground. I'll grab that. Okay. So now, they keep saying they hear clicks. You can see that there's some crystals above. We've got two of them. Let's go ahead and grab this shrine. So I'll shrine so I can get back my turn on deads. Probably use those to clear out the other room pretty quick. Uh, let's see, so we've got one more to go. One of those, I think this next one is the, um, not the, is the treasure room. Let's see. Yeah, this one's the treasure room. So that one, like I said, can't get in there unless you can pick locks. So we'll go all the way around now, get the other one. How are we doing on... We got a mischief bonus and onslaught. So we're gonna see if we can't finish breaking some of these. Let's go ahead and get our seek eternal rest. A plaque up on the floor reads Herein lies Lambert Drive, Bishop and Defender of the Faith. Okay, so let's get all these guys here and Turn. All but these last couple, not bad. The shriek of rusty metal, the sunstone gates enclosing Gerard's tomb grind open. Okay, so now we can go into the center area. Now. 
I am going to break the sarcophagi all the way around sunstones are from the floor as quick as I can before I kill everything because I want to try to get the bonus. Still have only have mischief. Is that all I can get? Not that I could get. Fine, let's do a turn. Gerard collapses, his sarcophagus shudders violently and explodes in a storm of jagged stone. Okay. So those guys I got conquest though. So that's okay. I guess you do have to get into the treasure room in order to get anything above mischief. That's okay. Alright, so grab the chest. Now in order to actually finish the quest, you gotta read the, the tomb thing here. So click on it to read it. Uh, read the inscription and you finish the quest. So a little bit more than 3000 XP. And we can't get that optional unless you can lock, pick lock. So we're gonna go ahead and finish out. So not not bad. Took about 16, 17 minutes to run through the quest. All right, but of course now we gotta go back up to Dryden's chamber. So we go all the way back up. See why some people just skip this chain altogether, especially if they're not good at killing undead. Cause it's just a lot of running back and forth and endlessly slaughtering undead things and if you're no good at that then you're not gonna have any fun with the chain there is some nice stuff for killing undead as rewards for low levels waits to speak with you at the when you finish the, the chain though have you seen the inscription In inscription I don't know what an inscription is inscription very well alright so take something else from him Alright, now read it, go to the lower cathedral. I'll find a way in and stop her. Okay. So then we gotta go all the way back around. And this time we're going. Um. It might be. The bottom. Yeah, it's all, yeah, it's the bottom there. Okay, so this is gonna be the lower cathedral. So join us next time and we'll continue on the chain working on the lower cathedral. Um, until then, please check out our channel, look at our other videos, let us know what you think, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and uh, tell us what you think. Um, until then, play games, have fun, and we'll see ya.